Didac India is one of the best educational event in the country and for the past many years I have been part of Didac. My name is Puneet Singh and I represent Indoor Institute and I am the Chief Admin Officer. I myself is a PhD in Computer Science and uh, working in the field of Artificial Intelligence. Now Artificial Intelligence in Education is a, not a new concept but with the advent of AI what we are seeing now is AI is getting into each and every nook, nook and corner of the technology and education is one of the sector which will get immense benefit from artificial intelligence. Now the benefit which we can have from artificial intelligence would be in many ways. I will just want to list two or three points. When the education system in India started, it started with uh, rishis and ashrams. So we had a very famous Sandipani ashram where Shri Krishna was part of the ashram. And in the ashrams where this Guru Shishya Parampara was there, in the ashram what happened was that the Shishya used to ask questions from the Guru and the Guru used to give intelligent answers. And on the basis of the knowledge the Guru was having, on the basis of the information the Guru was having, the Shishya was getting all the answers. Now come to 2023 and like chat GPT uh, came into the picture and within two or three months itself everybody was talking about chat GPT kind of a scenario. Now what chat GPT was doing, I am not saying that it was replicating what Guru and Shishya conversation was having but yes in a way it was giving intelligent answers when it was being asked upon. So it has been a tradition in India at least for India whatever has been transcended from the gurus and whatever has been transcended from the nobleman. So it's a question and answer kind of education what we are used to. So all the Gitas, the Bhagavad Gita, the Ashtabhakar Gita, all are in the format of Q&A. And now with the advent of AI in the field of education, this can be replicated in the classrooms also. Now AI can also be helpful when I say that we have 60 students in the classroom and all the 60 students are not up to an equal standard. Their level of understanding, their level of learning is different. So somebody may be having better psychometric skills, some, some of the group of, uh, group of students may be having good analytical skills, the third group may be having good writing skills, but not all, not all the students would be having all kind of skills. So now it's a necessity today that you should have personalized education and AI can fill this gap. When I say personalized education, so the teaching learning what used to happen with the use of Bloom's taxonomy, the six level of Bloom's taxonomy and the advanced levels also, that was also one of the part which was happening and which is still being used by the educators nowadays. But let's, let's imagine a scenario where there is a chat GPT for the classroom. So if in a classroom there are 60 students and if uh, text based uh, information about those students are having and apart from the text based information imagine a scenario also if their assessments the university assessments or the classroom assessments the direct assessment what we call if also those are available in the system now we can ask in the AI system that okay give me information about a particular uh, student and you will get a dashboard wherein you will find all the marks you will find all the certification that the students have done. Apart from that, you will also get that what kind of student that particular person is, what is the level of learning or what are the kinds of learning the student is uh, comfortable with. If that kind of information is there with the faculty member or the teacher, that would be revolutionary. So I call this as a personalized teaching and learning scenario and with AI, this personalized teaching and learning can be of great help. Apart from that, AI can be used in obviously personalizing the education. Apart from that, maybe a scenario wherein uh, school students, what if, if they get an answer that if Adolf Hitler was not there during World War II, how could World War II have happened or how World War II would have proceeded? So just give a thought to this uh, particular scenario and if uh, technology can give answers uh, to us or if uh, say, say for a question like if uh, the Titanic uh, was not hit by a iceberg 
so what would have uh, been the case with the titanic so all those kind of scenarios wherein humans have their limitations have their analytical limitations ai can pitch in and give that kind of answers so that's a very good thing where ai can be used apart from that ai can also be used in administrating the whole education system when i say administrating uh, again it would be a help to the teacher it will act as a complement and the supplement to what the teaching learning is been imparted by the teacher apart from that when i say it will complement and supplement it will give teacher the tool a very powerful tool wherein focused learning can be imparted to the students apart from that the topics which are really necessary and which are important to the students can be taught to the students uh, with the help of ai when i say this how we can do it uh, we can do it obviously the personalization of the education system in the classroom and the personalized teaching learning so that kind of scenario would create an environment wherein the teacher will have that tool a very powerful tool where a particular student will be getting his or her level of education so that's a very interesting uh, thought so right from the sages and the ashrams and the guru shishya and the geetas now we are coming to the situation a scenario wherein a, a bot when i say bot bot is not maybe a tangible thing but bot may be uh, bot is a ai bot wherein a bot can answer your questions a bot can understand your problem a bot can help in uh, uh, giving you the kind of answers which the students is looking for so in that way ai can be a very very good tool for imparting education looking to education sector in india wherein lots and lots have to be done because in the rural areas in the deep uh, areas of the country wherein the schools have not reached or the school have not served its purpose so ai can be a very powerful tool uh, and it can be coupled with uh, other technologies also maybe a satellite communication maybe a ar vr kind of a thing and because of the advent of the technology or the access of technology to the students so ai can be a very good tool we have seen this uh, in a very small and a very minute way during the covid uh, pandemic when students were forced into uh, using all kind of uh, communication as an in, uh, internet communication and taking classrooms online now if you if you can add the personalized touch of ai so uh, i think so that those students who may uh, who are not getting enough good quality education maybe in their villages or may, maybe in their schools would be getting uh, good quality education there also so it's a very very powerful tool it's in a very nascent stages because ai uh, is been uh, termed as a devil also that it will uh, take all the jobs but let me assure you to the teachers and to the educators that ai would not take the job but it will make the job of the teacher as a facilitator easier and that will help the teacher also to impart quality education to the students so those were my thoughts and i hope uh, that uh, more and more educators will be use artificial intelligence into their education system in the education scenario i have been uh, using ai tools many of the ai tools for teaching learning uh, process and mostly those tools are personalized learning based and uh, in a process of building a chat gpt kind of a, uh, a system for the class wherein i can get answers for a particular student also based upon the cap capability the student is having the kind of teaching learning uh, capability the student is having and also uh, the level of understanding a student may or may not have so i can personalize i can fine tune my teaching learning for that particular group of student or for a particular individual student also and uh, that would be a big boon to the to the, uh, to the students because uh, when the students they pass out from the schools when the students pass out from the schools they remember their teachers but they don't remember all their teachers they remember only 5 or 10 or maybe 15 uh, of the two teachers but uh, let me tell you this thing that if if we can uh, use the ai tools for the personalized teaching maybe uh, the students will remember those teachers and maybe the school for the rest of their life uh, thank you very much